We can see that the top surface of the chamber is covered by felt from inside. The felt helps to contain the alcohol that it is saturated with. Alcohol, being a volatile substance starts to vaporize. It starts to, to slowly spread and travel downwards. The bottom part of the chamber being constantly cooled by the dry ice is at a very low temperature. When the alcohol enters this temperature zone, it condenses and turns into mist. This causes the air on the bottom part of the chamber to supersaturate. And then, the chain reaction starts. The air in the sealed chamber is supersaturated by alcohol and water vapor. When charged particles example, alpha interact with the mixture, the latter is ionized. The ionized particles release alpha and beta particles. Due to high energies of these particles, a trail is left behind. These tracks have very distinctive shapes. The alpha particles are short and thick. They are also more visible and form in much larger quantity. The beta particles are long and thin and are formed less periodically.